Well, I was born and raised in Hipper Springs, Arkansas in Cleburne County. But I'd say that was the best place in the world to grow up because it was safe, you could be out. The life that we had back then with all the freedom we had, I'm thankful to be from Hebrew Springs. My life with J.B. Hunt started in a red Ford truck with his name on the side. My friends, there were uh, 11 of us that got together and we had been seeing him around town and we were walking down Main Street. One of the girls said, I'll stop him if you want me to and we'll ask him if he'll take us for a ride. And when he stopped, I outran all of them and I got in first and I got beside him and I stayed there from then on. Johnny worked really hard and he always was selling something else. He had more than one thing going. Johnny was selling the wood shavings from the sawmill for the poultry litter to the chicken people. And he got this idea of starting a business to package the wood shavings and sell them to the growers. He got a run that took him down through Stuttgart and he saw them burning the rice hulls. And he thought, well, why can't I used rice hulls rather than the wood shavings, and we put all of our money into the rice hull company. After several years, I ended up running the plant in Stuttgart. So I worked from home at night, and I worked at the business during the day. And I would take the journals home, fed my children, put them to bed. I would pay the bills from home. You do what you have to do, and I learned by doing. First year, we lost $19,000. Yes, we could have given up, but we both looked at each other and said, everything we have is in this company. We cannot close this. And we built that company back, and it is still operating today. And do you know, we never lost money again. In uh, December of 69, we bought five trucks and seven trailers, moved them to Northwest Arkansas, and that's how we started the trucking company. Then there I was to learn about a trucking business that I'd never been in. I was a woman in a man's world when I started, but I was persistent. And everything you do in life, and you think you're not qualified to do it, once you do it, it's preparing you for the next step. Many times after we started that trucking company, I thought we were gonna be selling pencils on the corner because it was a tough, tough business to break into. I was the low one as far as pay, you might say, but they didn't have to pay me to stay there. I was there to help make the company work and I wasn't going anywhere. The toughest job I had was hiring. If you hire the best people and you let them do their job, listen to all of them, and then I make the ultimate decision, but I know beforehand that they're going to support me in it because they're the ones that are capable of really making it work. Johnny said that I was the psychologist of the company because if they had even personal problems, I had an open door policy and no matter what there was, they could walk in my office at any time. When I could see a driver going down the corridor, I could get up and invite them in, have a contact with them. They knew we were there for them. Governor Huckabee told me once a few years ago, Johnny took him over where the promenade is, and he said there was just a big field of hay. And he said, Johnny just, just laid it all out, brought all this was gonna look like. And he said, and here I am today. And he said, it's just like he said it was going to be. He had the plan in his mind. He knew what he wanted to do. When Johnny passed away, I had began to think, why am I still working? But every morning we're talking about this project and that project and what we're doing and we're real excited because we're gonna maybe get this one and that one. And I think he'd be pretty pleased to see, yes, she went right on and she did what I knew she could. I don't so much think of myself as the leader, but as just someone's got to kind of have that role. I've always felt like if you're working for a company, do any job there is to do. It doesn't matter if it isn't what you were hired to do, but if someone needs help, help them. I just kind of still count myself as that simple little girl from Cleburne County that did just what I needed to do at the time. And whenever I look at these buildings that we built and all, and I think, Johnny'd be pretty proud of us. He'd be pretty proud.